Hello students and this video is a continuation of our ISI solution of the BSTAT B Math 2014 paper. So this one is the MCQ. I will be doing the next question from here. So what is this question is all about? It's about a light of ray traveling along with a line y equal to 1. Okay, so let me draw it first. So y equal to 1 is this. So this ray is traveling like this at y equal to 1. And it's reflected by a mirror placed along the line x equal to 2y. So x equal to 2y, it must be passing through origin, but it's a flatter than the x equal to y line. Okay, so this is x equal to 2y. And this is origin. And the reflect ray travels along which line so obviously the reflected ray will go like this so here we need to do that so we need to take this and uh, one thing must be sure that these two angles has to be same in order to do that and this two are parallel lines so these two again must be same so this we take a this we take b this we take c so b must be equal to c so 2 comma 1 is this point if we just solve it y equal to 1 over 14 over here so we can find the value like this so now angle c equal to angle b equal to angle a which is nothing but tan inverse half okay so tan c equal to half so if we just put the structure here in the equational format m minus half 1 plus m by 2 equal to half where m is the slope of the reflected ray line and half is the slope of x equal to 2y. So it can be written as m minus half equal to half plus m by 4. So 3m by 4 equal to 1 or m equal to 4 by 3. So m equal to 4 by 3. So the equation of the reflected line, we know that uh, y minus y1, so it passes through this thing. So y minus 1. So y minus 1 equal to, we can write 4 by 3, x minus 2. So we just solve it, 4x minus 3y equal to 5. So option number A is correct. Now we are proceeding to the next question. That is question number 7. So, so it's a real numbered line they have given. And let is a GIF greatest integer less than or equal to x and the number of solution. What is the GIF function? So 2.67 can be written as 2, 3.984 can be written as 3, this is a GIF. So you take this whole number, it doesn't matter how small the other part is, the fractional part is, it does not matter with that. Okay, so let's solve the pattern here. So here, number of real solutions for the system. Okay. Now they have given so x is real and gi yeah, so x is greater than 0 so for 2x minus this equal to 4 this is 2x 4 plus x you can't write x over here directly so rhs is an integer as x is an integer okay so this part is an integer okay so either x is odd or an integer so in case 1, x is odd number divided by 2, half of the odd. So let x equal to p by 2. So p equal to odd. Then this value is p minus 1 by 2. So putting the values we get uh, p equal to 4 plus p minus 1 by 2. So p equal to 7 and x equal to 3.5. Okay, now 
in case 2 we just proceed it is 2x equal to 4 plus x so in case 2 we can write x equal to 2x equal to this 4 plus x so x equal to directly we can write 4 if x is negative if x less than 0 so then what happens if x less than 0 then this part equal to 4 so similarly in both the cases x is an odd integer by 2 or this is an integer so third case case 3 is x is an odd integer by 2 so x equal to I am taking p by 2 where p is odd so this part is uh, 2 putting the values we get p minus 1 whole divided by 2 minus p equal to 4 p equal to minus 9 or x equal to minus 4.5 as is t by 2 and now is the fourth case case 4 where is x is an integer so x minus 2 x equal to 4 x equal to minus 4 so the solutions are 3.5 4 minus 4.5 and minus 4 so obviously going through the option the D option is right okay so now we are proceeding to question number 8 so what is the ratio of the areas of the rectangular pentagons inscribed inside and circumscribed around a circle okay so rectangular pentagon so first we have to draw them so let me draw them so this one is like this this is the first one okay and uh, the circumscribed one I will draw it later so let's do it with this one first so if this is the origin this is O we don't know a straight line so this is O R A B and this one is C let the length be A here so the angle A is according to our structure and the formula I hope you know it is angle A equal to 5 minus 2 into 180 degree and so pentagons by 5 so this is 108 degree okay so angle OAB is half of it that is 50 4 degree. Now finding of triangle OAC which we can write is cos 54 equal to AC by OA. So simply AC equal to R cos 54 and AB equal to 2R cos 54 from the diagram as we have taken that OA equal to R. So now sin 54 is OC by OA so here OC equal to R sin 54 degree okay so area of the triangle OAB area of the triangle OAB is nothing but half base height OC into AB so this we put in values we get r square this is sine 108 degree now area of the entire inscribed pentagon is 5 of this so total area is 5 of this
okay next we are proceeding to the other part that is the circumscribed so here the formula of the angle x still be 108 degree but we need to find out the other part so if we just clear this area it will be easier we can do it in the next page here this one is the diagram for the circumscribed one I need to draw it a bigger one. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And here it is again. If you take origin here at Z. And this is R x y z okay so angle r x z angle r x z is nothing but again 54 angle x equal to 108 r x by r z is now caught 54 degree so here we can write r x equal to r z caught 54 so there is r caught 54 and x y equal to 2r cot 54 that's it so now the area of the triangle x y z is area of the triangle x y z according to our pattern is half into x y into r z that is half into 2r cot 54 into r that is r square Cot 54. So area of the circumscribed pentagon is 5R square cot 54. Five R square cot 54. So finally we can uh, put the ratio structure and uh, we can get uh, that 2 sine 54 cos 54 to sine 54 by 2 cos 54 so that is sine 54 ultimately or nothing but cos 36 so after a long calculation we get to that 8b is the answer okay so rest of the thing is in our next video. Thanks for watching.